All anyone can talk about right now are crypto betters who are ruining Valorant ranked and throwing everyone's matches. And this has been happening for quite a while now, so everyone's just waiting to see what Riot will do about it. But will they ever fix it? Before we get into the video, I just want to remind you guys that we recently released new cream and black colors of our touch grass hoodie, so head to shop.thescore.com to check them out. The Valorant ranked season ends next week, and I know a lot of you have been going through it. But for a lot of pros and content creators, things have gotten extreme. If you've been watching any Valorant streams lately, then you've probably seen it. So that Raze who just ran it down onto site and died is an alleged ranked crypto better. And if you're wondering what the fuck I just said, well, let me explain. I've heard rumors of this for well over a year now, but the earliest mention that I could find is this tweet from We Did back in August of last year. He posted this screenshot that allegedly shows a site where people can use various cryptocurrencies to bet on streamers' ranked matches. So you might be thinking, yeah, it's kind of weird that these people are betting on random ranked matches, but who cares? Well, the problem is that these people are also throwing these matches. Whether it's they themselves or someone they know, these bettors find a way to throw these streamers' matches and manipulate the outcome so that they can win their payout and over the past few months it's gotten really bad bro someone bet on our game and he's messaging me generous? about it how do you know like, he's messaging me about it why he's is like, it bro, I'm like no because if you didn't believe about the crypto throwers it's from one of the websites and you have to understand my position it's frustrating right it's frustrating when you guys deliberately throw games yeah it's gotten pretty awful for a lot of these streamers now if you're a fan of league of legends then there's nothing new here this has been going on in League for way longer, and Danny even covered that story on our channel a couple years ago. So there's an entire betting site in China where people can bet on whether or not a League of Legends pro will win or lose their solo queue game on stream. Players discovered that illegal betting sites existed where you could bet on pro Korean solo queue matches in the exact same way. These bettors would win trade their way into high elo so that they and their friends could grief top players and win their bet. This didn't last though because Riot Korea eventually took action, banning over 10,000 accounts and establishing a hotline where LCK teams can report any suspicious players for suspected win trading or illegal gambling. Now sure this helped some of the pro players who were getting griefed, but they weren't the only ones facing off against the bettors and win traders. And because of this, plenty of streamers continue to suffer. And some of them are so sick and tired of this bullshit that they've encouraged their audience to get in on the fun and make a quick buck. I mean, just just bet on my games, and I'll and why don't we hold a chat bet? I mean, it doesn't matter; it's gonna happen. So why don't we hold a chat like um thing, a poll in chat? I'll, I'll tell you guys, you want me to win or lose this game? You guys chat, pull it, and then whatever chat poll is, I'll do it. I mean, it doesn't matter. Riot's not doing anything. Maybe we just like full on rig the bet so that the bet like if if riot won't do something maybe the betting companies themselves will do something and like stop it so you can't bet on my games if like we all bet on the same thing it'll be like too biased or whatever that tyler one clip is only a few months old and it's pretty clear that he's sick of this shit so rather than waiting for something to be done about it, he just decided to rig any bets placed on his matches. And now every Valorant pro is experiencing this exact same thing. Some players are begging for some sort of FPL or maybe even a champion's queue that's similar to League because the normal rank system feels so bad for them. This guy's AFK is just throwing my game because he has the money on the line. Look at him, he's just sitting here AFK, he doesn't give a f I asked Ethos what he thinks about the whole situation and here's what he had to say. When there's someone who's literally acting to try and throw and try to lose on your team, it just it's such a waste of time. You're not getting good practice and it makes people upset. And I understand, yeah, you can make money. You know what? Get your back, right? Like do like do whatever you need. But like to ruin the experience for not just the nine other people in that game, but also all the people watching this stream. It's just kind of scummy. It's just kind of scummy, I think. It, it, it definitely sucks a lot. And uh, I really hate the fact that it's a thing. It, it really is ruining. I mean, ranked was bad enough. Ranked already sucked. People already sucked in ranked. We don't need people intentionally throwing. People are already, you know, unintentionally throwing. So it's like we don't need people to, to, to try and throw these games. It's enough, enough is enough. Crypto bettors have been around in League for a long time, and clearly that's now spilled over to Valorant. So hopefully Riot does something soon, because right now there's a lot of people who are sick of all the nonsense that's going on in Ranked.
these betters find a way to throw these streamers matches and manip manipulate why can't i say manipulate today i'm having a fucking brain aneurysm okay i'll breathe these betters find a way to throw these streamers matches and manipulate the outcome so that they can rig the f wording bet <laughs> fuck so this is what happens when you make me wake up at 8 a.m <laughs>